Lesson 5.6, the graphs of other trigonometric functions. This lesson focuses on the other four trigonometric functions that were not, uh, that were not covered in lesson 5.5, such as tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. These four functions have their own graphs, their own characteristics, so let's go through all of them individually. But firstly, let's look at this over here. Here we have the graphs of each function, and as you can see here, this, lesson, this was lesson 5.5, and this is the new lesson. Lesson 5.5 involves uh, cosine and sine, which has these wave-like graphs. But in this, in this lesson, we're going to have graphs that have vertical asymptotes, meaning that they have a unbound y, or a y that stretches to infinity. So y would be uh, undefined, or infinity, in all four graphs. So this is true. So first off, let's start with secant. And as you know, secant is going to be equal to 1 over cosine x. So this is what our secant formula looks like. So if we want to derive the secant graph, we can look at this cosine graph here, right? This looks like a cosine. Uh, and we can plot points. So first off, the first point we're going to plot is uh, starting with 1, is 1. So we're going to do 1 over y, which is 1. And that's going to be equal to 1. So this is going to be our first point. So we basically take the y-axis and we plot it on the cosine x. Next up, we have pi over 2. This point over here is going to be equal to uh, x pi over 2, and then y is 0. Uh, and this is a problem right here. We have a 0. And when we have 0 on the denominator, we have a undefined value. So here is going to be our vertical asymptote. Now, continuing on, we have a point over here just pi, and you know that here that the y-axis is going to be equal to negative 1. Now, negative 1 plotted into this is going to be equal to negative 1. So this is our next point, negative 1 over here. Next up, we have this point over here. And this point here, we have the same value of y, which is 0, giving us another vertical asymptote. Uh, finally, we have this point over here, where we have 1, y, y value is equal to 1 and 1 over 1 is going to be equal to 1. So it stays like this. Now, it's important to note here that if we take any point over here, it's going to give us a fraction, right? Because we have like 0 0.5 uh, in this area. So when we plot a fraction over here, it's going to it's as if we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, meaning that the whole thing is going to actually be flipped. So we have a flipped version of the cosine graph. Same thing over here, we're multiplying in this area, it's going to be half or any type of fraction and multiplying the reciprocal will flip the graph. So it's going to look something like this and same thing over here. And this is how we derive the secant, uh, the secant graph. It looks something like this, where the parabolas are flipped and the y values are infinite, so undefined. So if we look here at the period, the period still stays the same, actually, because if we look here, we have pi, and then we have uh, another pi. So a full circulation will be 2 pi. Next up, the asymptotes are going to be odd multiples, uh, odd multiples of, uh, of pi. You can see here that there's one every half, or every odd number. Next up, the domain will be every x value except the asymptotes. So excluding these, and the range will be from 1 or negative 1 to either positive infinity or negative infinity. So it makes sense, right? We have 1 and then it goes up to infinity, or we have negative 1 and it goes down to negative infinity. The amplitude will obviously be none because they're all undefined. All the y-axis are undefined. And the symmetry is going to be the same as cosine, which is a y-axis. Now, next up, we have the cosecant. And the cosecant is almost the same as secant, except uh, if you already know the formula for uh, cosecant, it's 1 over sine. So it'll have a lot of sine properties. So let's plot the graph of co uh, cosecant. Uh, let's look here. We have a value of 1. It's practically the same thing where we have the values uh, over here are going to be asymptotes where y is equal to 0. So these points y is equal to 0, here is also y equal to 0. And then these values will be flipped. So we're going to have the graph that looks like this. Let me uh, draw it properly. 
and they look like this. It's like they're flipped. And this is basically what the sign looks like. And if we have more of them, we're going to have it like this, vertical symptom, this. And it's going to be a virtually the same thing. Now, the period is the same. It's 2 pi because one circulation here, uh, if we look at one circulation, uh, it's this pi and this is another pi. So it's going to be 2 pi. The asymptotes are going to be equal to uh, multiples of pi. So pi, pi, pi. So there's no fraction. Uh, the domain will be uh, everything but the asymptotes, so everything not equal to the multiples of pi. The range will be the same thing. It's from 1 till positive infinity or negative 1 till negative infinity. The amplitude will be none, and the symmetry, just like sine, will be from the origin. Next up, we have the tangent graph, and we're going to actually show you how we can actually understand the tangent graph. Obviously, you don't have to know how to do this, but it's just purely for concept. So here we have the unit circle, and we're going to only take this part over here. So these uh, points for our tangent graph. And if we really want to understand how a tangent graph looks like, we need to understand that tangent x is going to be equal to y over x. So we're going to be plotting these points into y over x. So we have our first point here, negative pi over 2. We have 0 and negative 1. So 0, negative 1 is actually going to be equal to y for x, which is going to be undefined because anything over 0 is undefined. So here on our first point is actually going to be a vertical asymptote. Next up, we have radical 2 over 2 over negative radical 2 over 2. Now, this is basically, uh, this is basically going to be equal to negative 1 because we're doing the same thing over each other, except there's a negative. So this is going to be equal to negative one. And our point negative one is right here. Next up, we have one over zero, and this is going to be zero over one. Now, this isn't undefined. This is just equal to zero. So it's going to be here, where our origin is. Next up, we have radical two over two over radical two over two, which is going to be equal to actually one. And then finally, we have zero uh, and one, which is one over zero, which is undefined. So then we have another vertical symptote here. So if we were to draw this, it would look, it would look somewhat like this. And this is how a tangent graph looks like. We would have one period. So this is going to be one full period right here with two vertical asymptotes. And if we were to draw it again, it would look like this. And draw it again, it would look like this. So we have a bunch of lines that start with the unit negative one and then go up to one where it's undefined. Now, uh, of course, the period is one pi, so this is one full oscillation. The amplitude is going to be equal to odd multiples. So uh, the asymptotes, I mean, are going to be odd multiples. So you can see it's pi over two, pi over two. Uh, the domain is going to be everything that isn't odd multiples of pi. Uh, the range is obviously all real numbers because it's undefined on both sides. So negative infinity, positive infinity, the amplitude is none, and the symmetry is going to be to the origin. Next up, we have cotangent. And as you know, cotangent is reciprocal of tangent. So if tangent is y over x, then cotangent x is going to be equal to x over y. Now, knowing this, we should also know that we should take, we're going to start from here. And if we take these points uh, starting from zero, then we will also start from zero. So the first point is going to be equal to one, uh, one x one and y zero. And if we put this on a on a uh, on the x over y uh, function, we will see that it's going to be undefined. So we already have a vertical asymptote starting at the origin. Next up, we have the next point, which is pi over two radical two over two over radical two over two. Now anything over anything is going to be equal to one. So we have one here. So if this is one here, this is negative one. So then our next point is going to be here. Now, of course, plotting this is purely for concept, just to understand how the cotangent graph looks like. So next point we have is zero and one. So X over Y again to be zero and one. Uh, this is not actually undefined. This is going to be equal to zero. So that's zero. So the graph is going to, so the point is going to be somewhere here, right here. Next up we have uh, the same thing except negative, so it's going to be equal to negative 1. So this over this is negative 1, and it's going to look be right over here. 
then finally we have negative zero negative one over zero which is undefined so we have a vertical asymptote here so now if we were to graph but now if we were to graph this and finish the graph we will notice that it looks somewhat like this if you uh, notice already that this is the this looks like a flipped version of the cot of the tangent where the tangent looks something like this the cotangent is flipped so that's important to note so obviously this period is the same thing this is one full oscillation so the period is the same the asymptotes however uh, if you noticed they are multiples of pi so pi over here and here is zero so if we were to continue on it would be uh, it would it wouldn't be odd multiples of pi it wouldn't be with fraction it would be whole numbers next up the domain the domain was obviously going to be everything but the asymptotes and the range amplitude and uh, symmetry all stay the same where range is all real numbers because it doesn't go to infinity on both sides and the amplitude there's none and the symmetry is the origin that'll be it for this lesson's explanation uh, watch the uh, examples video to know how to solve during the exam. It's pretty important to also watch that to know how the questions will come and best of luck.